we're live at the Watkins Clan International for the midway point for the race that marks the midway point of the fifth season in the Reebok Cup Series. Jeff Gordon starts on the pole. He's had a semi-disappointing season so far this year, but looks to take home a victory today and get himself into the chase. Greg Biffle starts fourth. He hasn't had a win yet this season, but has had a lot of strong finishes. He looks to finally get a win here today. Kevin Harvick starts deep in the pack. He's in the, the one of the top positions in the points and is just outside the cutoff for making it into the chase. He, just, he has a few points to make up if he wants to be in chase position with just two races to go until the chase. On row one, we have the 24 car of Jeff Gordon, the 20 car of Matt Kenseth. Starting in row two, we have the 48 of Jimmy Johnson, the 16 car of Greg Biffle. In row three, we have the 99 car of Carl Edwards and the 9 car of Marcus Ambrose, a favorite at Watkins Glen. In row four, we have the 14 car of Tony Stewart and the 11 car of Denny Hamlin. In row five, we have the Bush brothers, the 18 of Kyle Bush and the 41 car of Kurt Bush. In row six, we have the 2 car of Brad Keselowski and the 88 car of Dale Hart Jr., the New Hampshire winner. In row seven, we have the 1 car of Jamie McMurray and the 15 car of Clint Boyer. In row eight, we have the 5 car of Casey Kane and the 22 car of Joey Logano. In row 9, we have the 4 car of Kevin Harvick and his Stuart Haas teammate Danica Patrick in the 10. In row 10, we have the, 77, the 17 of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and the 55 of Brian Vickers. In row 11, we have the 42 Kyle Larson and the 33 of Austin Dillon. And rounding out the field in row 12, we have the 43 of Eric Almarola and the 27 of Paul Menard. We're going green here in Watkins Glen. Jeff Gordon leads him down the, through the S's, but here comes Jimmy Johnson on the inside, and Johnson's going to take the lead. Matt Kenseth is going to take second, and Gordon slides back to third. Biffle's all over his back while we're looking for the spot as Johnson leads now with Matt Kenseth running in second. Is Kenseth going to get to his back over here? Lap three underway. On board with Matt Kenseth. And we've got a spin off the final turn. Clint Boyer, Dale Earnhardt Jr., and Joey Logano involved. Stenhouse Jr. in the pits. And it looks like Jr. just gets into the 15. And nowhere for Logano and Stenhouse to go. We're back underway on lap four. Johnson still the leader. Matt Kenseth is right next to him here as they go down the back straight away. And he's going to look to try to get to his inside, but not going to be able to. Lap five now underway. Jimmy Johnson has led pretty much the whole race as Marcus Ambrose slides into second. Now he's closing on the back bumper of Jimmy Johnson with four laps to go. He nudges him out of the way. And Marcus Ambrose takes the lead. We've got another crash. Kevin Harvick, Eric Almarola, and Brian Vickers are all involved. Looks like Varys gets in the four in a similar incident, similar uh, type of crash to the incident earlier. And we're back underway. Three laps to go. We've got another spin. It's the 24 of Jeff Gordon here, the pole sitter. Looks like he just gets turned there, going into turn one by the 11 of Danny Hamlin. And we'll really start with two laps to go. Here we go. Five wide into turn two. Hamlin backs off, and now Marcus Ambrose is in the lead. Here comes Tony Stewart into second place. White flag now. Can Stewart make a run around him? He looks. He goes down low. He takes the lead. Here they come. Marcus Ambrose is going to take the lead. And Marcus Ambrose wins at Watkins Glen. Marcus Samuels locks himself into the chase in an incredible finish at Watkins Glen, holding off Tony Stewart, who made a strong surge at the end there. Greg Biffle in third. He ran about there all day. Kyle Busch is in fourth. Carl Edwards brings home fifth. Jimmy Johnson falls to sixth. Matt Kenson is in seventh, and his teammate Denny Hamlin takes eighth. Ninth is Brad Keselowski. Paul Menard comes home with a top 10. Kurt Busch is 11th. Jimmy McMurray is 12th. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. 13th. Casey Kane is in 14th. Kyle Larson 15th. And Danica Patrick 16th after a frustrating season so far. In 17th is Austin Dillon. Jeff Gordon 18th. He was the pole sitter for today. But got taken out of that wreck. Kevin Harvick, Brian Vickers, and Eric Almarola. 19th, 20th, and 21st. Dillon Hart Jr. 22nd. However, he is already into the chase. And Logano and Boy are 23rd and 24th. Greg Biffle holds the points lead one over Matt Kenseth. The top two drivers in with points or in, in points that do not have a win will make the chase. As of right now, that is Greg Biffle and Matt Kenseth with one race to go until the chase. Brad Keselowski and Tony Stewart are far behind. Kevin Harvick, he's had a struggling season, but he's still in contention. Jimmy Johnson and all the ones behind him must win in order to make it into the chase. All these drivers here at the bottom, they all have to bring home a victory next week at Richmond if they want to make it into the chase. Guys like Jeff Gordon and Clint Boyer and uh, Paul Menard down there, they're all going to have to take home a victory next week at Richmond.